What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to the Fireside Creator. Today, I'm preparing baked fish with a mango pineapple salsa. First, I'm going to show you how I clean my fish. And the fish that I'm working with today is tilapia. I have six fillets soaking in a bowl of water. And now I'm going to just show you how I clean my fish. First, I'm going to start with half of a lemon. I'm going to squeeze this lemon into my bowl. Next, I'm going to add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Now, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of salt. And we're just going to clean each side of the fish. And you can see how the water looks a little murky. That's because whatever on the fish is coming off. And also it has to do with the apple cider vinegar as well. I don't want the fish to sit in this apple cider vinegar no longer than it has to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse my fish off in cold water and I'll be right back. Now let's start combining our dry seasonings. First, I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo. Next, I'm gonna add in some black pepper, some garlic powder. I'm adding in some complete seasoning, smoked paprika, just a little bit of sea salt and some onion powder. Next, I'm gonna add in some hot sauce. And you can use any hot sauce that you like. Now I'm gonna add in some oil. And lastly, I'm gonna add in a few drops of mustard. Well, this is a little bit more than a few drops, but that's okay. Next, I'm gonna combine my ingredients. And it's going to turn into like a paste that I'm going to cover my fish with. Next, I have my baking sheet lined with foil. And I've already added some oil to the bottom of my baking sheet. So now I'm just going to transfer my fish over to my baking sheet. Next, I'm gonna add my mixture to my fish.
Now one side's covered, let's turn the fish over to the other side. Now that all of our fish is covered, I'm just gonna go over the fish a little bit more to, to make sure every part of the fish has seasoning. Next, I'm gonna place my fish in my preheated oven on 400 degrees for 30 minutes. And I'll be back. While the baked fish is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my mango pineapple salsa. So I'm just gonna slice some tomatoes. So now I'm gonna add these tomatoes into my bowl. And I'm gonna do the same for the rest of these tomatoes. Now I'm going to start cutting up my jalapenos. So I'm cutting my jalapenos like this so I won't have to fight with any seeds. Because I don't want any seeds in my salsa. So now I'm just going to cut these slices into smaller pieces.
Next, I'm going to cut this mango. I'm trying to cut around the seed. That's what mango's pretty. Has a pretty big seed. Well, all mangoes have pretty big seeds. I'm just going to cut this little mango into little small chunks. It doesn't have to be too small. Next, I have half of a pineapple that I'm gonna cut into small chunks and add it in with the rest of the ingredients. These ones probably they might not have any seeds. And we're going to add a little bit of. Himalayan salt. So next I'm going to make like a little sauce to go over my fish. So I'm just going to add the rest of these tomatoes into my bullet. Some pineapple. Onions. Cilantro. A little butter, some Himalayan salt, I'm 
I'm going to add in some minced garlic. Some pickled, a little bit of pickled ginger. And some season blend. My own season, homemade season blend. I can fit these in here. The rest of this. do this. Oh, this tastes so good. It's a little spicy, but it's very delicious. So I'm gonna put the top back on here. Now I've taken my big fish out of the oven, and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I just can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna set it to the side and let it cool down, and I'll be right back. Next, I'm gonna add my homemade sauce. Then I'm gonna add some salsa. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.